For those interested in speeding up the new scooter, we have a new line of motherboards available that are able to be programmed using Bluetooth to an app through your phone. Now the benefit of this motherboard is that if you were to have two batteries, for example, you can easily program from, for example, 70 ampere, meaning you will take 35 ampere each from each battery, or you can just simply set it back to 40 ampere, which is, for example, the amperage you would want from a single battery. Furthermore, this motherboard comes in handy if you, for example, have a 48 volt battery, but maybe you also have a 60 volt battery on the side. This type of motherboard makes it easy to interchange the two batteries. Now, another benefit is that you are able to use Bluetooth in order to change the speed per mode, but also to fine tune other settings such as the acceleration based on the speed you're going. So maybe you can put at 20 kilometers an hour, you only want 90% of the total acceleration capacity. And at 30 kilometers an hour, you would want 80%. In our detailed guide, we will walk you through how to make this motherboard compatible with your scooter. This motherboard has a self-learning function where you will have to turn on the scooter and let it drive by itself. This way, the motherboard will read the settings of your motor. Furthermore, you would have to adjust the battery settings. Now, if you're not as experienced, we recommend you to use our previous line of motherboards as they are pre-programmed and require less technical details. We will walk you through with our guide on how to self-learn the scooter and how to program the battery settings for your scooter. Our customer service will also always be available that if you do run into problems that we can help you out. This motherboard is also compatible with all new scooters. Now here you can see the motherboard. Now here are some instructions on how to install the motherboard. First you open the trunk of the scooter, then you open the battery compartment, you unplug the battery, next you remove these four screws, then you see your old controller, you have to remove the five color cables and the big cable in order to remove the controller. Finally, add the five color cables into the new motherboard. careful not to damage the screws you can replug your battery and your scooter is now if you are interested in this motherboard you can buy it at eschoolparts.com and if you have any other questions feel free to send a message on whatsapp and we will assist you further